Hi, this is BK from ManForWars.com, where I'm promoting polite patriotism to help nice ladies and gents worldwide, offline, locally teach kids to be, and to help us respect and communicate well, and uh, to help the same polite patriots locally, worldwide, offline, share great info they find online with their neighbors, giving them different sources of info, different things to think about. Uh, if it's stupid, laugh at or correct it. If it's smart, uh, then enjoy and pass it on and make better people and better places to live and get a better future. So check out manforce.com. Actually, site's down right now. Um, that firms won't get back to me, but I'm working on solutions for that. Um, but uh, check out the description below um, uh, for more on how you can win the offline info war, which is a real key today. Um, <clears throat> um, but this video is called O oh Canada. Uh, Global News YouTube channel plays Trump speeches. Trust them more to beat globalism? Oh, Canada. Global News YouTube channel plays Trump speeches. Trust them more to beat globalism? And um, <clears throat> just in a break from uh, from vlogging right now, I clicked on my YouTube subscriptions page, and I use BitChute more because BitChute is more trustworthy when it comes to less censorious. But YouTube still has a lot of stuff, and it's still a, a technically good platform. And so, you know, I'm, I've still got my YouTube account and my YouTube channel where a lot of my videos are deleted. Um, you know, 27 in three days, May 20th, 21st, and 22nd. I did a vlog about that. Plus another uh, 30 or something in the last, you know, uh, few weeks or whatever um, about uh, COVID-19 and more. Um, and yet, um, as I click on my subscriptions, I see this, President Trump to address young Americans at Phoenix Church Live. And I was watching it on my laptop, and I switched on my phone just so I could use it for this blog. And you've got Donald Trump Jr. But again, you won't hear that, right? You had peaceful riots. I, I was watching that. I was watching, I think it was CNN or MSNBC. You had a guy, it's mostly peaceful protesters. There's a housing project in the back. It was on fire. The guy got hit in the face with a bottle during the interview. It's mostly peaceful. I go, was that a mostly peaceful shooting that killed two people the other night in the quote unquote autonomous zone? Like, you know. And that gives you an example. So this is a global news uh, Canadian uh, television uh, news station. Um, that regularly broadcasts uh, Trump speeches, and and this is uh, he's speaking to a group of uh, uh, students for Trump um, at a Phoenix church, and uh, they're broadcasting the pre speeches with Kimberly Guilfoyle, uh, who's uh, Donald Trump Jr.'s girlfriend, and now Donald Trump Jr.'s up. I saw just the end of her talk, and then a, a bit of his before I went back to vlogging, and um, <clears throat> and my point is, can Canadians trust global news more to beat globalism? Right, so. Um, Global News established Canadian uh, uh, mainstream news organization, but you know some are better than others when it comes to to us and our needs and our interests. And uh, and if they're better, then we should support them, right? Just like uh, mainstream news in the U.S., right? If Fox News is better than CNN, then support Fox News more. Now, definitely support other groups. Support Breitbart.com, Infowars.com, um, support uh, the Gateway Pundit, and so on. And Canada support rebelnews.com, uh, rebel media, rebel news, support spencerfernando.com, support henrymacco.com, support cuttingthroughthematrix.com, uh, support canadafreepress.com, support pressfortruth.ca in Canada. So definitely support the independent um, you know, uh, uh, news organizations as well. But when it comes to mainstream news, is global news more trustworthy? Can we trust them more to beat globalism, right? And um, and basically, globalism is um, it's out there. It's it's a, a plan, right? And it's it's uh, used to be kind of secretive about it, but over the last I'd say about <clears throat> ten or fifteen years, um, the plan has become more and more public to the point where it's now uh, very public in terms of what you can find out, but not very publicized. So if you want to find out. Uh, proof that there are people pushing for globalism, more globalization, more free trade, more um, you know, a borderless world, more uh, internationalism, more international institutions controlling everything, as opposed to more nationalism, local control, tariffs to protect your industry, still trading with other countries, still friendly with other countries, but making sure you protect your industries, like during the recent COVID-1984 pandemic hoax, there was all sorts of, oh crap, we make everything in China, and now um, uh, we need drugs to deal with this possible pandemic, we need ventilators, we need masks, it's all made in China, so even though we have an emergency, 
we've got to wait, you know, for China to get all of our stuff from China, right? And so the, the people are around the world are freaking out. Whoa, 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 we can't have essential things we need in case of emergency made in foreign countries. We've got to have some national, local control over that. We can't just say, well, we don't need any of that stuff. We'll make it all in different countries and uh, we'll just be a service economy where we push paper or we offer services to each other or we you know, uh, work in restaurants and blah, blah, blah. We send them paper to get cheap stuff and they use that paper to buy us, right? And that's basically you know, what, what, what China is up to right now, right? Um, <clears throat> and you can look at, um, at the Globalist magazine. You can look at uh, the Council on Foreign Relations and their Foreign Affairs magazine. You can look at um, you know, uh, all sorts of evidence out there that there are people pushing for more of an international order, a new world order. Um, you know, where there's more central management of the affairs of everybody and every country in the world. And there are nationalists pushing back against that, say, no, 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 we're Canadians. We want to, you know, run Canada. We don't want to be, you know, um, you know, it's hard enough being 37 million Canadians uh, and dealing with our own government and trying to keep, you know, that under control as opposed to being, you know, 37 million out of 8 billion ants in a, a UN global governance structure, or one person out of eight billion ants in a globalist in a global government structure, right? So, um, <clears throat> so my point in this vlog is basically uh, trust and support global news more. Um, and and when it comes to global news and Trump, Trump is definitely an anti-globalist, right? I can't tell for a hundred percent if he's for real or not. I don't know if he's meant to, you know, keep conservatives kind of bribed with hope and, 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 and change or great again or whatever to stand down so that, you know, they can do horrible stuff anyway and, and, and push their plans through, um, you know, or if he's for real. But he certainly sounds like he's for real. And I'm a Trump supporter by and large. I like about eh, maybe 80% of what he says and I like about 60% of what he does. He's done some great stuff. He's kept the U.S. out of the Trans-Pacific Partnership which is an international trade deal. And these international deals hamstring your own country's trade and foreign affairs policy. So Trump was like, nope, we're not signing up to this where our country is a signatory to this deal. And this deal is regulated by this international group, the World Trade Organization or whatever. Nope, we're not doing that. He kept America out of the Paris Climate Accords, where it's like, okay, so the Paris Climate Accords say all countries are going to pay money to the UN and agree to cut their carbon and agree to tax their people with carbon taxes and pay more and more money to the UN to crack down more and more of us to use less and less stuff to increase carbon taxes until we use almost nothing and have almost nothing, because otherwise that'll be bad for the weather. And the weather's when the weather gets bad, that'll destroy the earth and that'll suck, you know, whatever, right? So... That whole, that whole hoax, that whole crap, uh, Trump kept America out of that. The UN Global Compact for Migration, which Trudeau, and Trudeau is for all these, Trudeau is for TPP, Trans-Pacific Partnership, for Paris Climate Accords, yes, 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 please suck up to the globalist masters, and, uh, and the UN Global Compact for Migration, where you can leave any country you don't, you don't like, and you can go to any country you like, and countries don't control their borders anymore. Trudeau has said Canada is going to be a world leader in that, and Trump kept the U.S. out of that. He's like, no, 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 we're not letting the U.N. control our borders we're controlling our own borders, right? And he said in previous speeches, you know, America will never surrender its sovereignty to the false song of globalism. He gave a great speech in Poland uh, talking about nationalism versus globalism. He's given speeches at the United Nations talking about nationalism versus globalism, how the independent nation state is the true foundation of peace and harmony, and uh, we need less global control. You know, we don't mind if there's some global organizations where we get together and discuss what our national interests are in a more neutral setting, but we don't want to be beholden to them, right? So that's globalism. So when it comes to global news and can Canada um, uh, trust global news more to beat globalism, based on this, based on the fact that they're broadcasting Trump speeches, a variety of Trump speeches, a variety of Trump rallies. Typically in my subscription feed, I've got a, f a few organizations. I've got the CBC, I've got City TV out of Toronto. I've got, um, um, you know what, I've got Fox, you know, I've got CNN, right? I've got, I don't watch all this crap. Who has time to watch all this crap? But, you know, I will flip through my subscriptions and I'll see kind of who's broadcasting what. And, um, and, 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 and I, I consistently see global news 
broadcasting a variety of Trump speeches, right? And a variety of Trump events and so on. So that leads me to believe that editorially, you know, they might be a bit more conservative. Um, you know, when it comes to YouTube, you know, it's, it's you know, obviously they're making some money maybe off, off selling ads off their YouTube channel and a lot of this stuff gets good ratings, right? Um, you know, so there might be some, you know, of that, but <clears throat> the majority of the media in the U.S. and in Canada tries not to let you hear Trump himself speak, tries not to show you the typical 20,000 people or so at a Trump rally, tries not to show you all the proud, polite, patriotic, happy Americans um, who represent uh, a large part of Trump's base, right? They don't want to show you that because if they show you that, then it takes away from their narrative that they're a bunch of racist, sexist, phobic, Nazi hicks, um, you know, uh, evil white people who deserve to be shamed and mocked and shunned and crap and all that crap, right? And if they show you Trump himself, then there's the danger that you'll like Trump because people have liked Trump for 40 years, right? He's been a public figure for 40 years. They liked him as a billionaire real estate mogul, as a playboy uh, putting on uh, uh, beauty uh, pageants uh, and dating hot models, right? They liked him as a celebrity, as a rich New York celebrity. Uh, rappers used to shout him out in their songs. I'm the next, I'm the, Don, I'm like the black Donald Trump. You know, they used to say all that stuff, right? Um, civil rights leaders used to like him. He helped fund Jesse Jackson's presidential bid. He's given lots of money to different black organizations. He uh, opened up his golf clubs and all that to uh, uh, blacks when a lot of golf clubs and country clubs wouldn't let that happen. Uh, gay people he's been fine with. He actually loves gay people running his casinos supposedly because, um, you know, they don't have families. They don't have, they don't want to take as much time off. They're like work, 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 I mean, party, 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 right? And so um, he's been, he's been very pro. He was, he was sort of a, a New York liberal in a way with some conservative leanings and some sort of, um, you know, pro uh, uh, American business and pro American borders and pro America leanings. But he also had some very liberal leanings where he wasn't against, you know, um, uh, different groups uh, in the way that sometimes conservatives can be when they were advocating for their issues. Right. So um, so he's kind of played both sides of the fence. Right. And he's also, of course, he was on TV with The Apprentice. Right. And the classic you're fired you know or the celebrity apprentice you know where he'd get people you know um, uh, trying out different jobs and judging uh, or starting different businesses and judging how good they were in business and that was a top rated tv show so <clears throat> the u.s mainstream media and the canadian mainstream media does not want to show us uh you know proud polite patriotic you know uh, uh trump supporters who are great people to see and be and are by and large are nice people they're not angry, messed up, hateful people, the way that the mass media often wants to portray them. And they don't want to show us Trump himself because uh, between his supporters and him, you know, that could really blow the narrative they're trying to spin. So they'll show little clips, little sound bites, or they'll take things out of context. And then they'll, they'll spend 15 minutes talking about what a Nazi Trump is or what a Nazi Trump supporters are, um, as opposed to actually showing you 15 minutes of him and his supporters. So the fact that Global News is actually showing this and showing this live right now, you know, where it's um, President Trump to address young Americans at a Phoenix church. There's Global News. There's the thumbs up and thumbs down, you know, sort of uh, 264 thumbs up and 216 thumbs down, 3,173 watching now. So that gives you an idea, right? And, you know, there's going to be some people, you know, especially Canadians who are, you know, um, you know, who are socialized to uh, to hate Trump or socialized to want to get along with people who are hate Trump. And so a lot of people are supposed to hate him more than they should. But a lot of these leftists can't talk to people they disagree with. Uh, and then they can't talk to each other and they turn into sort of commie zombies or corporate clones more easy to control, right? So you can't have a reasonable conversation about it where you're like, wow, you hate Trump so much. So what do you hate about him? Is it his foreign policy, his domestic policy, his America first policy, his desire to have proud, be proud of, 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 you know, what America's done and who America is and, or what America is and who Americans are and, um, and, and, and instilling that pride and that patriotism in his people, you know, what are the specifics? Oh, I just hate him because he makes me feel bad because he makes other people feel bad and they feel bad. So I have to feel bad and don't say anything. And I don't really know what he's doing. I just hate him so much. It's like, what the hell is that? Right. But that's what, you know, the professional lying bitches in the media, um, you know, lying bitching, 
uh, who make more bitches, who make more bitches, who make more bitches out of the rest of us, that we all have to put up and act like a bitch or a bitch's bitch, who makes more bitches, who make more bitches. That's what they're trying to do to us, right? To, to the general public, right? Where you're just sort of infinitely bitching with other people infinitely bitching. You know how bad you feel, but you don't really know what to say. And you can't really say much about it because just bringing up the name Trump makes you feel bad, right? And, you know, I've had conversations with some other people, you know, who are anti-Trump and they can't talk to you, right? I'd be perfectly happy. I can criticize Trump for a whole bunch of stuff that he's done wrong, right? Some <clears throat> bad decisions he's made when it comes to people that he's putting in positions of power around him, like John Bolton and others. Um, don't give that scumbag a second chance. He's already had second chances and he's been a scumbag in, during those second chances. Um, what about the censorship? What about the online censorship, right? You can't just be like, I, I'm Trump, I'm great, they love me, the people love me, we'll, we'll get sick of winning, you know, people love me so much. Like, hey, idiot, you know, it, it took a lot of people who, who got behind you and, and, and promoted you um, you know, on, on the internet, on Facebook, on YouTube, on Twitter, and, uh, and a bunch of other platforms to, to, to get you to beat Hillary Clinton in 2016. It's not just about you and, and what you can do and how charming uh, you, know, you are. You know, it's, it's way more complicated than that, right? And, 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 with, and, and since 2016, the censorship has gone crazy with <clears throat> Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and everybody else, you know, publicly sworn to try and tr stop Trump from ever getting elected again and to try and do everything they can to keep his supporters down, keep them from communicating with each other and everybody else, right? And of course, the mainstream media is against him and Hollywood and celebrities are against him and blah, 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 blah. So you can't just be like, well, you know, I'm good and I've got my Twitter account and, and I've got my base. And when I go to rallies, there's 20,000 people there. Yeah, there's 350 million people in America, right? And if, 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 if the 60 million who voted for you are overwhelmed by the 100 million who learn to hate you and then are scared to talk about it because of what they might do, right? They might either shun them or ignore them or, or fire them or, 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 or cut off their bank account <clears throat> or, 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 you know, so, so it's not that simple. Like you got to do more to protect free speech, Mr. President Trump, sir, right? So I can criticize Trump for a number of things that he's done, some policy decisions and, and, and some of the deals he's made as part of his art of the deal, deal making. But by and large, that's an intelligent conversation I can have. The normal Trump critics can't have that. And that's a real problem, right? They're just fashionable mess, supposed to be a mess. Bring up Trump, even though it's supposed to be a mess. I got to be a mess because he gets his panties in a bunch <clears throat> and a, about Trump and I got to get, get a mess because she gets her panties in a bunch about Trump. And if I don't get my manties or panties in a bunch about Trump, then I can't hang out with these other people who get their manties and panties in a bunch about Trump. That's what's being created, right? And it's, it's a general thing where we're supposed to be a mess, fashionably a mess with another mess, as opposed to people who make sure we're not a mess and nobody else is a mess. So attention for being a mess instead of respect for making sure we're not a mess and nobody else is a mess. That's what's being engineered. So, um, excuse me. So, so broadly speaking, I would say if you're going to default to any sort of Canadian mainstream news, um, you may want to trust global news, right? You may want to trust global. And I've seen other articles from global news that were pretty good from a, a nationalist, anti-globalist perspective, where I think, you know what? You can definitely trust them more than the CBC and uh, trust them uh, more than CTV. Although they've done some good stuff too. Um, and, uh, and you can trust them as a Canadian news source and support them. I'm encouraging you to subscribe to the Global News Channel. Watch the Trump uh, speeches if you do watch them on the Global News Channel, not just on Fox or, or, or whatever else you watch them on. But actually support uh, Global News YouTube channel and, and, and say Canadians are happy that you are at least giving us a chance to judge the man and, and his speeches and, and what he's up to for ourselves and make up our own mind and have an intelligent, informed, and empowered perspective on the current U.S. president, as opposed to the uh, uh, uninformed uh, and disempowered perspective that uh, that's often sold. And um, and yeah, you know, so there you have it. So, BK for ManForWars.com. Like, comment, subscribe. Get in touch with questions or support as you'd like. See more in the links below. Otherwise, I do hope this helps, and I'll talk to you soon. Cheers.